Right, first to 10 just two weeks before classes start, Michigan State University says all undergrads planning to live on campus should now prepare to learn remotely. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Doug Reardon. And I'm Andy Satowski. We're going to start the evening off with our Ryan Cummings. He joins us live at MSU's campus to explain why the university made that decision. Ryan. Guys, the school's president sent out the notice saying that this all will be taking effect immediately. And we talked to several students on campus, so this could be the case for thousands of students that they're now going to have to find new housing. I was moving in on the 28th. Tegan Goss was supposed to live on campus in Brody Complex. Yeah, I had like everything ready. Um, everything's in the back of my car right now ready to move in. So it's kind of like just pulling the short end of the stick, I guess. Those move-in plans quickly changed on Tuesday when she got an email from the university's president. I opened it right away uh, and it pretty much, and there was a bolded paragraph halfway through. I read that first before reading the whole thing and it pretty much just said like all undergrad students are gonna um, effective immediately be off campus. Within 30 minutes, she submitted her lease to an apartment. No, I was like shaking. I called everyone immediately. I was just like, what do I do? Like my knees are shaking, like I can't stand up. Um, um, it was just kind of, it was like blindsided. This is the email she says is responsible for the anxiety. The note from Dr. Stanley says despite their best efforts, it's unlikely the school can prevent widespread transmission of COVID-19 between students if undergrads come back to campus. There will be exceptions though for the colleges of law, medicine, nursing, osteopathic medicine, and veterinary medicine, as well as all graduate programs. Research initiatives will continue as well. The school is working with international students on visa statuses and those needing labs, studios, and performance-based classes that are required for graduation. It's just really upsetting because I look back on my freshman year and I had such a great time living in the dorms. It's such a huge part of your Michigan State experience. It's a great way to make friends and now it's just, I feel bad. Like it's another year just being taken away from these incoming yeah. freshmen. Dr. Stanley says it's going to be a tough transition, so they'll make sure students also have access to mental health support, student services, and financial aid. I mean, like I know that it's in like the best interest for people to not be on campus um, just because like how fast it spreads and everything. So I understand that um, just trying to calm myself down after everything. And a lot of students probably feeling the same way as Tegan tonight. Those refunds, we are told, or credits will be issued if you already paid for the fall semester. There are, again, some exceptions to the rules on this. So if you'd like to read the entire statement from Dr. Stanley, we've posted it on our website, fox17online.com. Reporting live from campus in East Lansing, Ryan Cummings, Fox 17 News.